What's up, y'all? This movie Geek Riff. Um, so I'm late on this, obviously. Um, Infinity War, Avengers: Infinity War Part One. Today's the fifteenth of May. Uh, I was supposed to come out like fifteen minus seven is nine, eight, eight days ago. But it came out on the 27th. I saw it on the 26th. And I saw it another time after that. I saw it twice. I'm thinking about going again. I don't know. But it's the 15th, and Deadpool 2 is this Friday, which I will see it Thursday night. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm late. I'm really late. And um, I'm going to apologize for that. I was busy working. Um, and I just. Infinity War was so overwhelming, as I'm sure all of you know. It was 2 hours and 30 minutes. Um, <sighs> shit was brutal and sad. As as all of you know, this is this review is so late. It's ex post facto. It's hindsight, 2020, whatever. Um, I don't know what to tell you. You've already seen it. It's made a billion dollars, billion plus. Uh, only thing I don't have anything bad to say about it it's just like the movie didn't feel like a movie I guess because it's only partly told so I can't really judge it I can't really judge the movie Infinity War because we still have to do part 2 um, part 1 part 2 is next year uh, in May unless they push it back a week like they did this time um, as we all know, I mean, there's no spoiler alerts now. No spoiler alerts, as we all know. Um, in the post credit scene, the one post credit scene, uh, with Thanos's finger snap, um, took out a lot of damn people, as it does in the comic from long ago, the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, but uh, as we see Maria Hill, Agent Hill, and Nick Fury get uh, vaporized, uh, disintegrated into nothingness. Nick makes a call uh, on a ancient pager, a modified ancient pager, uh, with a little symbol on it, and that symbol, as we all should know, if you have your geek cred in check, nerd cred in check, um, is to Captain Marvel, who we will get next March. Uh, Brie Larson is currently filming that now. Uh, she's a cosmic being. Well, she's a regular person. Gets infected, not infected. Gets bestowed with powers from Marvel, an alien, and she has cosmic celestial powers. And um, I guess he's paging her because they'll need her to kick Thanos's butt uh, in part two. Um, we don't have Adam Warlock. He's going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy three, presumably. And so in the comic. Uh, a long time ago, back in the 90s, early 90s, he was, him and Silver Surfer and Doctor Strange really gave uh, Thanos a run for his money. Nebula, too, but Adam Warlock, really, because at the end of this series, Adam Warlock had the had the gauntlet. He's a very cos powerful cosmic being. So um, I think they're kind of using Captain Marvel to in his place because they're not going to introduce uh, Adam Warlock until after Infinity War Part 2, so they need somebody. Um, you know, f Disney bought Fox, but we don't know how that's going to go down with the Fantastic Four characters, and by extension, Silver Surfer, so we may or may not see him. It would be great for a cameo in Part 2, but don't know. So yeah, Captain Marvel's going to be, I guess, the one duking it out with Thanos um, next year, uh, bringing it home for the home team. So yeah, you've already seen it. Great movie, um, long movie, brutal and sad movie. Um, some of those characters you see just, oof, it's like the feels. It's um, it wasn't. It was. I'm a grown up, so it wasn't as bad as like say 1986, 1984, 1986. Transformers the movie when Optimus Prime died, and I was a little kid, and I was just like. Or in G.I. Joe the movie when Serpentor threw a snake through Duke. But he lived. Didn't he? Yeah. Anyway. So yeah. But yeah. The, you're there's going to be some. I had I had two Geek Man tears. Each time. At the end when it all when Thanos does his thing. Uh, two Geek Man tears. On both eyeballs. And they just kind of. And then it was done. It wasn't bawling. It wasn't one. It was just two. And they kind of fell at the same time. And each. So yeah. 
So some heartbreaking stuff in there towards the end. But yeah, it didn't really feel like a movie, so because it's only part of the movie, but it's still a great movie. So you've already seen it. So that's it. That's all I got. Um, yeah. Um, I really can't grade it. I can't. It was so much going on it's incomplete so i can't give it a complete grade i can movie geek i movie geek griff cannot give infinity war a complete grade because it it's not complete i don't know what to tell you as tony stark would say um i got nothing see you for deadpool this deadpool review will be on time take care